Okay, the uh, whole thing is now assembled and uh, as you can see the battery is in place here and the circuit board is, is in place and the switch mechanism is here with the on off switch and there's the end of train device working there and switch it on, switch it off, you'll see switches on switches off over here and away we go is the this is on my uh, tweezers can follow where it is okay over here is the little mechanism uh, it's a little switch rotating switch to increase or decrease the pulse of the uh, light over there um, obviously that can be done at a later time once we've got it in place and <coughs> this is where i'm going to fit it up into the well car it will actually sit in place in there and put it to the coupler here. Okay. Just back to uh, the box here again with the lid off and there's the uh, unit flashing away and now I'm going to introduce the screwdriver into the adjustment and you can see by turning the, the wheel uh, this actually slows right down quite considerably the the pulsing of the light or it increases and it just keeps going and keeps going and next one it starts going really really fast and you can see it flashing quite quite a bit so it's still almost on continuously but so it's adjustment as to where you want it and how you want it And at this point in time, uh, leave it at that. Okay, this is in the uh, one for the intermodal car, uh, intermodal car, and um, this unit is sitting on the coupler. The wires come up here, and the whole box is up here and sits in, in place. Uh, switch on and off. And uh, further to this, I've made an adjustment in that on the side here. Um, use a screwdriver, drill a hole, and a uh, screwdriver so we can make the adjustment to the pulsating of the light uh, without having to take the cap off. Um, okay. see the adjustment screw inside there. Okay, the uh, ETD or FRED is now in place, switched on. The right, ETD or FRED is uh, switched on, it's installed, it's now connected up. They're uh, hot glued gun, I'm oh, sorry, hot glued it to the circuit board. The wires coming up here uh, up to the battery and going through there and going to the switch and the switch mechanism is on the side there that's can be switched off and on you see it turning off and on and oops and switched off all right good to go it's 
all uh, assembled. Here's the box. Nine volt battery. It's all screwed in place. And uh, you put it in the back of the inside the box car. There's the switch. Off and on. And there's the and the train device coming out through the, the hole I cut in the, in the base of the, the box. Okay, so I'll fit it inside the uh, box car. Okay, here's the uh, box car I've got, and uh, it's a, an Aristocraft box car. And I uh, had to search through all the different box cars I was going to fit it to and found this one with the uh, uh, double doors. Okay, as mentioned, uh, there's the double doors and that'll uh, open up quite, quite wide so you can actually reach inside. The whole handle here, so I'll reach down at the end where I'm going to put that switch. As you can see, I'm going to come over here, grab the uh, switch box and that'll sit down inside there and on there and I tend to put the switch on the end. Uh, I'll have to obviously unscrew the unscrew the top and take this off to do assembly. Um, but that switch will go down, down, down the side there. of the box car and uh, I'm just taking this my center screw out and remove the wheels. Now, turn the screw out of the coupler. Oops. And that's ready to go. Now, I've unscrewed all the uh, main screws. And uh, there's five, six of them. Um, and plus two smaller ones on the sides go into uh, the sides, sideways, taking them off and then I can put the ETD in there. Um, okay, okay. The base of the box car is taken, the floor I should say, taken up there and I'm going to mount the ETD. I was going to mount it close at the end but it doesn't have to be, it can be just mounted up here. Um, towards the door, so there's no interference. Um, as there's plenty of cable there, and the cable is going to stick out through the end. And now I've made a notch in the end so that the cable can sit through there and it will still sit down flat on so the, the floor of the uh, box car will sit in, in, in the right place. Hey, ATD is thread is sticking through the uh, end of the box car and uh, wires are going through inside you see and the box car itself is the 9 volt battery mechanism it's easy enough to reach in in there and switch the switch off and then switch the switch back on The end of train device is now installed, and in this instance, I decided to screw it to the back of the box car, and obviously, comes around to the side here. I've made a change, and uh, I've moved the uh, box further along. Um, this allowed me to mark the hole where the adjusting um, screw is on the circuit board for the uh, pulsating of the light uh, so that I could uh, change it or adjust it as I went along. Uh, so I can now draw, put a screwdriver in the side here and uh, adjust it as I as I wish, either slower or faster. And uh, 
the attaching screws here. Uh, two of them, one, two for the for this board. Uh, there's none at the other end, so I just have to unscrew those two uh, to bring it out to change the batteries uh, at a later time. Okay, now this is a uh, 100 ton um, coal car with a, uh, it's Aristocraft. Uh, again, I've uh, taken the, uh, the Aristocraft coupling off the truck mounted and uh, fitted to a body mount and it's the first time I've tried putting this through here and uh, draw the wiring around the other side and it comes out through one of the, the hopper um, unloading hatches. Right, turn the unit over and see it here and actually paint, place it on the track. Okay, there it is, and there's the flashing unit sitting inside there. Switch it on, and okay, as explained, there's the uh, and a train device fit to the Aristocraft body, oh, sorry, it's a truck mounted coupler, which I've cut off and uh, attached to the body mount. Uh, there's the wires you can see through here going inside. And then 